to share with you a new feature of Cab Rider that works in conjunction with Cutlass Plus Platinum Edition, and that is uh, export to Cutlass Plus with DXF. So uh, this is new in version 1.0.2 for Cab Rider, and if you look down here under the file menu, it, uh, what used to be called just Cutlass Bridge is now called Cutlass Bridge DXF. And there's some familiar choices here. We've always had export to Cutlist Plus FX. That's just simply exporting to Cutlist. Um, we've always had export to Microsoft Excel. That's just a CSV file. And export to DXF. Uh, export to DXF. Um, put all of your parts into one big DXF file that you could pull into your CAM software. Now, if you own um, or purchase Cutlass Plus FX um, Platinum Edition, you can now use this new command here called export to Cutlass Plus with DXF. It'll export your Cutlass, plus it'll export um, individual DXF files that Cutlass Plus can then pull in and allow you to do optimization within Cutlass Plus, uh, which is what I'm going to show you. So here I've got a kitchen model and I've already got a bunch of scenes done here and one of them is carcasses only. So I'd like to select all. So I'm going to do edit, uh, select all. And I'm going to do this new command, cutlass uh, bridge DXF menu, uh, export to cutlass plus FX with DXF. And it's telling me that a cutlass file has been written to my folder, and all the DXF files have also been placed in a folder in that um, folder. And let's go look at that real quick. So here is my .cwx file. That's what um, the cutlass plus file, uh, compatible file. So that's essentially the uh, cutlass with a little bit of extra information um, giving a path to each of these files, um, which are the uh, all the DXF files here. So that's how Cutlass Plus will know where to find those. So if we double click on this .cwx file, it'll launch Cutlass Plus. So you see your, if you're familiar with Cutlass Plus, you'll see a normal cut list here. And uh, if I go to layouts, I'll get my layouts as usual. I got my half inch pre-finished and, and so on. But uh, now what I can do is export all of these uh, layouts as DXF files themselves. So there'll be one DXF file for this sheet of plywood, one for this sheet of plywood, but um, it'll actually contain all the holes that were drilled in our carcass parts as well in that DXF file. So let's do that. So we go to File, Export DXF. And again, this is only in the Platinum Edition. And it's telling me where the um, files are going to be saved. And, and the default is the desktop um, with the same name as the um, file that we read in. So I'll just leave it there and go into my desktop and get them. So let's say OK. It says it was successfully exported. And if we go back to my desktop and find that folder right here, it's got my various types of plywood. So I'm just going to look at the pre-finished maple plywood. And we can see uh, the different sheets here, um, D1 through 9. So that's D1 through 9. And I know it's these because this is my 3 quarter inch plywood. And I can see that's the points. 0 0.75 um, group right here. So let's look at, um, say, uh, number three here. So since this is a DXF file, I'm just going to look at it in my AutoCAD application for the moment and see what it looks like. So it's opening it up. There we go. And I'm going to just zoom and see the whole thing. So now we can see that this is maple plywood pre-finished 3 quarter inch, uh, 48 and a half by 96 and a half. You'll notice, unlike the layout over here within Cutlass Plus, 
this is a true DXF. It's got all the geometry holes that are in there. And um, we can look at the various uh, layers here. And um, just like in the other DXF file that we export, uh, you'll see that we have uh, large parts. We have small parts. Anything smaller than a certain size, we can do something different with that, maybe onion skin on the CNC. We have the substrate itself, uh, the summary down below, and the system holes. There are no construction holes on this one. If there were, there would be another layer. And the labels. So now you could take these files and bring it into your favorite CAM software and do the tool pathing for your CNC. Very handy. Uh, so that's all there is to uh, this command.